Went over and fished Genoa today, caught some perch and some walleye. We'll throw them clips in here as well. Thought we'd check it, the Wisconsin River on the way back and see if we could get into some crappies. So stay tuned. Comes again. Come on back for more. I don't know what he is, but he keeps keeps just nicking at my jig. Look at that. He just cracked it. Ooh, cracked it. Got him that time. A little crappie. They're just lurking down there on the bottom, a little bit. Yeah, there's one on me now. And I must have dropped dropped past him. See, he's, uh, he's right down below me. He's just looking at it. He must not be hungry. I'll make him do the little dance. And, oh, he's got a buddy now. Usually when there's two, one of them will get it. Gotcha. Oh my God. It's a little white bass, a little striper. Oh baby. They're in here too. Got him, finally. White crappie on a white jig. Trying some different colors of those little crappie scruff. I got a white one on and she's got like a purple colored one. Nice little crappie there. I got another one, another crappie, a little baby crappie. I thought it was her jig on a pan optics, it was mine. Yeah, this, this has become a little bit, not as easy as it was with all these schools of bait fish down there. It's hard to pick out which one's a crappie and which one's a, a bait fish. It's on video. These are all like bait fish, shad that are moving in. This time of year, they move up in the shallower water. So it's, you know, if I had a live scope, I'd probably be able to tell the difference, but I, I can't tell the difference between that and a crappie. I just know the crappies are under them because they're probably feeding on them. So I try to get my jig as close to bottom as I can because these little shad, whatever they are, they'll swipe at that grub too, but they're not big enough to uh, actually eat it. I just wanted to point that out to you. Got it. You come screaming up. They're really tight on the bottom now. Another white one. Yeah, here we go. A whole bunch of them under me now. Throw him back. Get back down. Put it right down in his face. He's just, just kind of cruising around there. He doesn't. Really seem too interested. Weird. Oh, I kind of spooked him, spooked him there. I touched him with the jig, I think. You like that. It's probably a little white bass. Oh, I just got slag line live on camera. He came right out of the brush there. That wasn't the one I was marking. He he just came like down out of this line here, a brush. Oh, 
Yeah, she got one now. I told her just pull it away when they get when they get over there. When you see them on the panoptics, you just start raising it up away from them like ice fishing. The friggin' oh. baby sauger. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Since we got this little baby sauger doing the same thing, jigging them off the panoptics here. Okay, throw him back. He's a little baby. He's hooked up. Little crappy, little black. Is the uh, camera in the back? I got one bugging me here. You don't want it though. Yep, there he is. Picking them off. Little guy. One just came racing in above me. I was below him. I'm trying to raise up on him. I don't, don't want to. <laughs> I'm going to get crushed. Pulling it away from him. Man, that's a big one. Holy crap. Holy moly. There's another one. I could pull that one away from him too fast. Like he had to use too much energy to go after it. She said, she said let's go. And then I'll, and I start moving the boat and she, he's hooked up. Sheep head? What is it? No. Yeah. Oh, it's sheep head. <laughs> How'd I know it was a freaking sheep head? Just by the way he was fighting. What the heck? Oh. Oh, the baby. And he hit it like a freight train. Little baby black. Little guy, little black. Another one. A head shaker. White crappie. Little, little white crappie. Here it comes one. Got him. The head shaker. Right under the tree. Little white crappie. Yeah, they're biting good now. It's getting close to prime time. Little guy though. Another donk. Mm -hmm. Okay, tangled up in her line. It's really made this difficult as a shad. I'm gonna put up a video here. There's another nice little guy. Thought we'd check the Wisconsin River out on our way back from Genoa. We fished that earlier today. He yeah, had got caught some perch and a couple short saugers. We'll put them clips in here as well for you guys to check out. What is it? Little baby? I just got robbed. A little perch. What the heck? I told you there's perch down there. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. She's got this little perch jigging. Okay, throw him back. It's hooked up, the crazy perch. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Get him in there, that's a big old perch. What the heck, he's in the weeds. She's got this nine and a half inch perch. She's gonna throw it back. We're just jigging behind the lock wall here. Okay. I got him. It's a friggin' perch. It's a big perch. That's a tank perch.
They wouldn't hit my shiner, but they hit they hit that little crappie scrub. Some big perch down there. Ten. Okay, a couple hours out here we stopped Lake Wisconsin on our way back from Mississippi River. Did you have fun, Susie? Yes, fun. Caught about six or eight crappies, threw them all back. We just wanted to see if they were still out there. Things are setting up nicely for ice fishing. They'll be in these same uh, spots. Just wasn't really looking forward to seeing all the shad in there already. That kind of messes it up, but we'll have to try it again once there's ice over there, so stay tuned. The hip hop, the hip it, the hip it, the hip hip hop. You don't stop the rocket to the bang bang boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to beat.